trying to win the approval of human beings or of God. God, you call me by my name. The love you give me, I just can't deny. Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you. I'm on my way to meet you. We gotta talk, you know. All these trials and tribulations got me tired. I need rest. When I started revealing this revelation, I had to upgrade the title. It's gonna be trading faith. It's gonna take you trading where you put your faith. And what we have to do, which is a very scary thing for people, is take our trust out of what's gotten us here and now put it, trade it for the presence of what God wants to do in our life. Trading faith is changing the faith that got you here for the faith that will take you there. Where's there your prophetic promise? Where is there you walking in purpose? When my anger's about to go crazy, I don't run to a bottle. That's what I used to trust. That's what got me here. I don't run to money and being a workaholic. That's what I used to trust. That's where I used to put my faith. I don't even run to my husband or wife because they are not the source. They are just a resource. I am trading where I used to go and I'm putting it in the one who can actually heal me. Yeah, I know it's been a little while, but I gotta let them know. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow, yeah. I know you having trouble understanding it. If you trust in God, he got his hands in it. I promise he'll protect you like it's lamb in it. He don't get the glory if the man did it. You gotta stand with him, I know, yeah. Life gets hard and it feels like it's no way. to order me another one of these because I actually like how this looks on my lips when I don't have on makeup. I never thought that a, what would you call it a tinted lip gloss would look good. Usually they don't look good on me without makeup. I don't know. I think it's because of the discoloration um, that I have around my mouth so it's like it looks off. So only like not even clear. I really don't even like clear. It has to be like a a balm that has kind of a whitish not white but i don't yeah kind of white tone to it like the tree hut one but hey y'all welcome back to another vlog um it's currently what is today today is wednesday and honestly this vlog is more so going to be like a self-care vlog girl okay i heard you the first time this one is going to be like a self-care vlog kind of a just a me vlog kind of just getting me back together I guess you would say so right now we're headed to my I have a complimentary lash appointment that my old lash tech reached out to me to do so we're getting lashes y'all know I haven't had lashes since if I feel like oh well no I did have lashes for my birthday and I think that was probably the last time that I've had my lashes done and I'm not gonna hold y'all I'm a little bit nervous because my lashes like my natural lashes I don't have a mascara right now but my natural lashes have grown out and they're just so pretty. I love my natural, you know, like my lashes. I took a picture last night and like you, I can actually see my lashes without mascara on in the picture. I'm a little nervous, just a little tad bit because when lash extensions start irritating me, I either rub them or I pull them out and obviously that's gonna pull out my real lashes. So I'm gonna have to really restrain myself from those old habits of mine with this set because no I need my I, I, I like my natural so yeah I'm a little nervous but I'm excited to be getting my lashes done since I haven't gotten them done in a while you know I love you know I like lashes or whatever it's just <sighs> when they start falling out and they I start looking at mess by the eyes I don't like that I don't like having to to wait for an appointment or the possibility of not getting a getting an appointment when I be needing it getting all that like the, the possibility the the uncertainty of me walking around looking a mess by the eyes that's the part that I don't like about the whole lash extension situation because obviously my face is on camera a hundred percent ninety nine point nine percent of the time or I need to be taking pictures especially now that I have my page back so it's just like I would rather not put myself in that predicament so, I, I always say like when I go to live, it's the first time because I got my lashes done by my mom 
um, I think like twice for like both of my prom, my mom did my lashes. And I think probably like one other time. But my mom does more like classy, not that they don't do classy lashes, but she does more like, she has a grown woman clientele. Like, I hope that y'all get what I'm trying to say. But although I feel like a lot of the girls are putting up the big, big lashes, you know, that era has died down, I think. So they're moving towards, you know, classier lashes. But I mean, when I say hers, it's like you can even barely even tell if it's lashes up there. It's just really, really natural. Natural lashes, that's the word. She does really, really natural lashes where it looks like, you know, your, your natural lashes are just really long or something like that. It doesn't look crazy. So, yeah, but when I first started getting my lashes done, I was like, yeah, I don't want those little baby lashes. You can't even tell that there's nothing on their eyes. Like, um, so I wanted to, I wanted the big lashes that looked good a mess back then but they was cute to us <laughs> then but yeah she was the first person and then i was i was going to her for a good while and then she kind of left the industry <laughs> a little bit and did her own thing and then i guess she's back so yeah we shall see how this goes i don't know if she already has like a set in mind that she plans on doing or if like she's gonna ask me you know like what i particularly want since it is a complimentary set or whatever and it's kind of i think it's like for her photo shoot or something like that so i don't know i have to get more details when i get there but hopefully if that is the case hopefully she knows like i think she can tell and see though if she's if she's seen that i'm not that girl anymore <laughs> okay i'm not that girl Cause it looked like the bottom of my lash is like it looked like it's crusty. I feel like my face looks like super duper oily. Dang, I kind of wasn't just paying attention for a long time. Do y'all ever do that? <laughs> like, where you realize like you was driving but you wasn't even paying attention for a good little minute. So it's like, so what was going on all that time? But, nah, so, yeah, I'm headed to church now. I know this is a self-care vlog. It's not just a regular little weekly vlog. But, I mean, it's a self-care it's, it's a self-care vlog, but it's also just going to be like, you know, the norm. This is kind of a part of my self-care because I need a good word, you know. 
So, <laughs> yeah, but it was definitely good catching up with my girl Liv because I haven't been there in a while. Liv was my last check. <laughs> what accent is that? Liv was my last check, y'all, before I started going to um, the look brand, which is so crazy because Liv is inside of Deborah's uh like building thing or whatever so you know it's just kind of like a full circle moment i guess you would say both of my last checks in the same area i'll probably see y'all tomorrow um or probably on friday which is where i plan on picking back up with the rest of my self-care because i plan on doing facial extractions i need to do my nails and toes just the whole nine and i'm doing everything myself this time so yeah, Friday is is it Friday or is it, I have to look at my my um, list or whatever because I had every I have everything planned out. So whatever day, that's probably when I'll pick back up with y'all because tomorrow my agenda is just full on. The focus is getting up the weekly vlog for this week. So I know I probably won't be talking y'all much. So one self care thing down. A complimentary lash set like who doesn't love a free lash set very much appreciative very much appreciative of that um, and they cute so yeah but I know they're gonna be even cuter when they start falling out they're cute though like going from not having lashes for a minute to having lashes oftentimes it can kind of be like a jump scare type thing cuz woo, like <laughs> woo. but they're cute and I know after a couple days they're gonna, you know, I'm gonna be back used to them. So, So it is Saturday and um, I plan on doing like my facial and everything like that once I do these nails and toes just because like, like I don't want to be looking at my nails undone while I'm doing my facial and everything you know getting the face together and cute and stuff but we're kind of in a dilemma because y'all this whole time that you know I love making Alfredo whole time that Alfredo got soybean oil in it. It got a whole bunch of stuff in it. It got um, whey in it. And I just checked the ingredients in it. I don't know what made me look at it the other day when I was cooking the pasta. But I'm going to try to finish it off because I don't want to just waste the food. Um, so I'm going to finish it off. But I know now, like, the next time I make Alfredo, I can't use my Alfredo, that I always, Alfredo sauce that I always use. Because it's like... Know, it's got my skin in a frenzy too a little bit because I realized it was clearing up and then as soon as I started eating that pasta it was like it started going I'm like hold on hold on hold on <laughs> we ain't gonna do that but anyways yeah I'm about to head to Target real quick I'm gonna try to find some press-ons because I think I'm just do press-ons on my nails and I'm gonna just do my toes of course I'm not gonna put press-ons on my feet and then and then as far as my skincare and stuff like that we're gonna do that tomorrow Sunday, top of the week, get the skin intact, do a mask, do all of that kind of good stuff. I'm really excited, honestly, to do extraction and stuff because I just feel like my my pores are so clogged because I haven't did it in a while. And I want to order, like, they have to, like, pour a vacuum on Amazon that I want to order. I'm going to order one of those because it just gives me the vibes of when I used to go and get facials at my dermatologist. Like, I had to get facials, like, once a month. Um, and my dermatologist and I used to love it when they did that instead of like the handheld extractions because I feel like it looked so much better like I feel like it did my skin way more justice than just doing like the, the little tool the extraction tool handheld so yeah we're gonna head to Target I'm gonna try to find some press-ons and then yeah we're gonna do that y'all like my hair sometimes it's clogged up ordeal my hair is so long and I was trying to just wear like just cloth 
claw clip one real simple but the hand was just going like it was too far and I didn't like it, it wasn't given so I just like scooped it up scooped it up scooped it up and then just put the claw clip on there so it's kind of messy but it came out cute I like it oh and another thing we just put up at Target but do y'all see now my ex mother moved to the front and I also realized that this started flaring up too since I've been eating the Alfredo like because y'all know I already have this ex flare up and now it's right and it was already like right here but this is kind of cleared up a bit but now this right here <sighs> i'm just so happy that you know it doesn't bother me like how it did in my younger years when i was a little kid and it had me wearing turtlenecks in the summertime i'm just so happy that it's just like yeah i got eczema and what about it off my nails right now so I can do my nails I went and picked up some press ons from Target they're really cute so I'm really excited to see like what they're gonna turn out and look like they're like chrome and pink but it's some that are baby pink some that are chrome but I really just want the chrome ones and they're kind of like in a um, coffin shape but I plan on reshaping them and making them almond so almond or I may just like shape them all the way down to like super short and square maybe I don't know I haven't really decided but I'm soaking off these it's not even soaking off my nails because these are my nails so soaking off the upper leg <laughs> In 
the struggle, ugliness and the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less compared to some of my down the block, man. We were only to those who can receive. It's your winning season. The time is up for trying to get what you deserve. That I now deem impossible. People pleasing. Live for their acceptance. Hmm. You will die from their rejection. We are called to serve people, not please people. No matter how much you serve people, it will be enough. Serve people, it will never be enough. Your love language is act of service, yet I keep giving you words of affirmation. No matter how beautiful I tell you you are, if I don't take the trash out, you will never be happy. Hmm. Good morning. Okay, so my nails are done. I think it went, my camera went dead while I was doing them. But I just did this like really, really pretty. I did three different um, powders and it came out this color, which is cool. But next time I think I'm just going to go with one powder so it could be a little bit more like opaque. Um, so I'm about to do skincare now. I'm about to go ahead and get into doing my facial and everything. But I just woke up, I got I just got out of the shower. I'm about to brush my teeth and all that kind of good stuff. We got the siren playing in the back because um, I didn't end up re watching it. So we're gonna rewatch it while I'm doing my skincare, you know, because like I said, a good word is self care. My face is so like inflamed right now, but this is exactly what used to happen when I used to get my facials and my dermatologist. So I, I'm not really worried about it. The best lip balm. What I'm saying is, 
believe to become the price God comes to believe God's given us what God is doing. We declare this will be a blessed. All right, y'all. So that concludes our self care vlog. The skin is feeling really hot well like a little warm you know of course because i did extractions but it looks 10 times better after the mask than it did before the mask and i know it's gonna look so much better tomorrow you know like once i go to sleep and stuff because your skin like rejuvenate in your sleep and it already just looks better like i look more glowy like it just yeah and i know it'll probably look so much better if i were to go ahead and shave my face but i'm just so scared because I already don't like shaving my little mustache area because I feel like shaving anywhere makes it come back worse. So yeah, to shave my whole face just seems very wild. Like I just feel like once I do it that one time, it's just gonna go crazy and I don't, it's, it's not even that deep. Like it, it, it's not, it's not. So like, I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, I definitely enjoy doing all of this stuff. I'm gonna make this like a habit to do at least. Since I'm in the like process of trying to still clear my skin up a bit, although it has made a tremendous change in a good amount of time, I'm, I'm really proud of it, but I'm probably gonna try to keep this up probably maybe every two weeks. Not, well yeah, probably my nails and toes too. We'll see how it goes, maybe every two to three weeks. I know for a fact at least, you know, like every month I'll be doing this routine or whatever, just like my beauty preparations or whatever, you know, so yeah just keeping the girl up and also you know when you do these type of things when you pour into yourself you're able to pour into others and you just feel better and you're a better person for the world so yeah i will have everything linked down below that i use as far as doing all of my self-care stuff um like my nails everything will be linked below toes everything i usually do my eyebrows like full out but due to the fact that one time i like the last time i did them I pluck one too thin, so I'm just gonna let them grow all the way out. I just tried to clean them up a little bit today though, um, but I'm not gonna go plucking and doing all that, so yeah. Well, like I said, I hope that y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Love y'all. Let me know if y'all want me to do more of these.